Stream elements. Said. Nerdcore TTV is now live. Streaming art, painting VR, Bob Ross's Quiet Pond, S5, E5.
Good morning, guys. Today we're doing something a little different. Um, notice I'm in VR and you can't see my beautiful face. That is because today we're going to be painting along with Bob Ross in a program called Painting VR uh, that does a lot of cool stuff. Let's you paint giant screen canvases, giant canvases in VR. So let's go ahead and paint this thing. Um, so we're going to do a painting um, with him called uh, Quiet Bond. Um, so it's going to take me a little bit uh, to get set up before I start in on Bob painting. So let me Hit a couple buttons here, so you guys can kind of see what this program does, why I think it's so cool, and we're gonna start. I'm just gonna load something up that we're playing with. Um, it's not done, but I have. I kind of love what's going on here. So just, just painting a sunset, nothing complicated. I haven't really finished the bottom yet. Um, you can kind of see here. Um, that I've got the ocean, I've been able to do blending, I used a splatter brush to get all of this neat stuff. Um, pretty, I mean, pretty easy. I don't really art. So being able to just kind of crack something, I mean, I don't know, maybe it does look a little bit like a five-year-old did it, but you know, something actually kind of cool looking. A little experience of just going, hey, mess with this. Uh, Pretty neat. All right, so uh, one of the things you're gonna hear about this thing is that it is a game with a thing without an undo button, um, which can get a little complicated. So I'm gonna adjust my view real quick because there's a table behind me. <laughs> um, so I can mix colors just like that. Um, oops, and there's no undo button. So if I make a mistake today, I have to go with it and sort of just accept the happy accident, which is fine because I'm not much of a painter. But, you know, I can do a lot with this really quickly. Um, so one of my favorite things is that there's a grab, color grab button, so I can switch colors real fast. Uh, so I can get rid of this guy real quick just by going back over it with white that I grabbed from the canvas. Um, I have my palette here, so I can go brush, brush. And the paint spreads pretty, pretty realistically. So if you go too fast, it starts skipping and stuff. So if you go nice and slow, it's beautiful strokes. I can actually want to sit here and build up paint layers. Um, be actually kind of able to see them. So I'm going to kind of put that guy up. Uh, since we're doing Bob Ross, the first thing to do is get this bad boy in white and cut the canvas. So, and one of the other cool things is that instead of me having to move all the time, and something I, I will say I love about this is the physicality of painting something this large. Um, probably won't do the full scale today, but I am going to paint the whole canvas so you guys can kind of see what this does. So with the trigger button, I can actually extend this. Uh, really quickly, oops, go through the painting. Cover the entire canvas. Um, downside is no pressure control. So, I, no pressure control when I'm doing this. I mean, you can, just, <laughs> it's wiggly, it's wiggly. Um, this also locks me in place moving, so that's kind of nice. So, uh, movement in this for you VR guys, um, you can have snap turn, there's a smooth turn, but it's very slow. Uh, then there's this teleport option, which I think I screwed up at some point. And, 
buttons got assigned to opposite buttons. So I have my color, I have teleport on X, grab on Y, and then teleport on A and grab on B somehow. So it's been, it's been a little different. Been a little different. Kind of got to get used to it. So um, there's a big update coming to this in September that I'm looking forward to just because I, I, I so I got this last week and this, this is, I, uh, Brought to you by, by the way, by Lurkit. Um, so I got this on Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. And I keep messing with it. And so now I heard there's an update coming in September from the developers. A really good chat with them, too. They're wonderful, wonderful people. So I'm looking forward to what they do with this. And there's going to be things like I can resize this, this canvas so it can be a lot smaller, which is something I've personally dealt with. Being a little bit much is uh, giant, giant canvas is a little intimidating. Um, but I don't have to use all of it, so what I'm going to do today is throw that guy down. Since we've got the canvas prep, we're going to drop this down. Um, so these are the brushes you have. Uh, so these guys down here are the experimentals. I love this one because it's the splatter brush. Uh, I'm a huge Jackson Pollock fan, so that thing is a big favorite of mine. And then the block. Uh, so this is really cool because these bristles, like, can drag, do all kinds of weird things, and I like it. It's a lot of fun. All right, and then we have our normals. So since we're doing Bob Ross, we need everything to blend. So you have three of each of them. Uh, right. And since these are not our blenders, we're going to just throw them away. That blends doesn't blend. So that blends. We're going to put them here. We're going to throw that away, throw that away, and then we'll have our line and detail brush. And then this should get us started. So we're going to move all these guys over. All right, now we should be good to go. So um, I am so I'm going to actually paint myself off a little bit of a section here. Um, we're going to say that I'm only going to work between this line down to here. And then up. Down. And I'm just going to paint myself off a, a corner, right? My guardian's getting in the way. Uh, don't look at my house. <laughs> Let me go put this guy back. I uh, don't need a spray paint. Like that. I need this guy, so we're going to throw it over there so I'm not looking at it. Uh, we're going to keep the roller because I know we're going to have to do a background. Ah, last thing. So, this is cool. This Madam is. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient uh, said, Nothing is visible except the template. Ah! I was afraid of that. <sighs> I did all that wonderful explanation. all that wonderful explanation and promptly screwed up. All right, we good now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so I'll have to re-record that intro. No big deal. No big deal. We'll just do that. Madam thing. underscore Claire underscore sentient said, that's a wonderful roof, also Bob Ross. Yes, Bob Ross, one of my favorites. All right, so um, I guess we're good to go then, right? All right, I'm centered. I'm going to turn my view. Not that it matters. <laughs> one of the things I like about this game is how much movement you do for this tool. 
Was it a duel? Is it a game? I don't know. Move these all up here, though, because otherwise I'm going to forget them. All right. I think, then, we are ready to go. Got to make sure I don't turn things off, so... Here we go. So, by the way, I can't see the video. I can only hear it. So there should be a music. I'm doing this all from memory. Hi, I'm glad to see you again. And today, I, I hope you got your palette set up and a big glass of iced tea there and you're ready to paint along with me. And I'm going to have them graphically run all the colors across the screen that we'll use today to do this fantastic painting. And while they're doing that, let's get started and take off here. I've already covered the canvas with a thin, even coat of magic white. And we'll start, and I'll go into a little bit of alizarin crimson, just a small amount. And let's just go up here, and let's just play, just here and there. So let's just drop in a little bit of color. Just drop in a little color. I use very little color on your brush. You can always add color, but it's sometimes it's very difficult to try to remove color off the canvas. So use very little color. We don't want to set this guy on fire. We just want a little, little pinkish glow playing here and there. And without washing the brush, I'll go right in to a small amount of phthalo blue. Work it into the bristles. There. Just making little crisscross strokes. Everyone, I am on fire! <laughs> many, many times stronger than the, than the Love crimson. Love so. said. Playing so sound https colon slash slash love dot com slash sound bites slash 5F2D9VB849A9B4005DEO bar using channel points. A beautiful, beautiful little soft, quiet painting. Very gentle. That was one of the things I forgot to turn off. Was, uh was being in the speech chat. Oh man. Or blurb. How do I do it? How do I do it? I oh, know. <laughs> Control panel. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, This is more of a dumpster fire than usual, and I <laughs> love it a bit too much. Yeah, well, you know, gotta do something special every once in a while, right? Beautiful little paint. The Lord be enjoyed. And while I've got blue on the brush, maybe we'll have a little bit of water. There it is. Just wherever you want it, right in there. It's phthalo blue. It's a very bright, very pretty blue. Okay, now I'll wash my brush. Get it all nice and clean. Ding! There we are. Now let's go back up in here, and very gently, we'll just blend all this together. Now you don't want to overblend it. If you overblend it, You'll lose all your little pink areas. They'll go away and leave you. They'll just leave you. Uh, let's guess on the blending. Vivid brightness. Said. Cuny 100. Stream yeah, element. Like said. Nerdco 3 Vibe Vivid brightness just donated 100 yeah. bits to charity. Very nice. Nerdco 3 Vibe. It's easy to do. Okay, let's just keep using the same old dirty brush. I'll go right into a, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. A little burn umber. Oh, and we just mix it on the brush, just like so. Just pull it down through the color. So there we go. All right, let's go up to the canvas, and let's put in some happy little tree shapes. And just, I'm just looking for some basic shapes here. I don't, don't want a lot of detail. And all we're doing is just sort of touching the canvas. And there, just, just striking the canvas. And we'll put in some beautiful little shapes. 
little brown, a little burnt umber. Maybe there's another one of those right there. Right there. See how easy those are to do? Just drop them in. And don't, don't try to copy just exactly what I'm doing here. Let your imagination go. We don't use any patterns or don't Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient. Said. Go. What? what you what actual match to shame. That's what makes it fun is when you learn to create on canvas. <laughs> Thanks for the confidence. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and this is just background color. We're really not, we're not worried a great deal about it at this point. We'll worry later when we start what putting all doing? the highlights in. <laughs> that's when we separate all these little individuals. Right now we oh just God, I'm doing the wrong kind of tree. <laughs> These are the these are the kind of paintings that, that that my mother likes. So maybe I'll just dedicate this one to my mommy. You know, I'm I'm an old man, but I'm still I'm still a mommy's boy, and I really don't care who knows it. She's so my, my wife and I actually she's my uh, favorite lady do this in the kind whole of thing world. Two or three times a month. Well, she does. So I just kind of this is her painting. Sit there and this is for her. Beautiful lady should have a beautiful Madam lady. underscore Claire underscore sentient said attempt. Okay, okay, that easy, that easy. We got some nice little background shapes. Yeah, that's just all we're looking for right now. It's just very basic, very basic little shapes. Don't want a lot of work. Have fun. Just drop it in. Already, we're beginning to make out all kind of form, and we really haven't done anything. Okay, while we got this color going, shoot, let's just have some fun here. Same color. And I'll just very quickly lay in some color right along here. And we don't care where it goes right now. We'll make all these decisions later. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient light in here. said, We need it. The sky is on fire. Sound alert. Like, oh yeah. my god, the sky is actually on <laughs> fire. This time. There. And you may be right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take uh, our liner brush and I'm going to put a little bit of paint thinner on it and go right into some, some of the same color work mixed together. This is the Van Dyke brown and the burn umber. And I've made the paint quite thin with paint thinner. Now maybe there's, we'll go up in here and we'll just put the indication of a few tree trunks here and there. And we're not looking still for a great, great amount of detail. Just wherever you think some limbs would show through, drop them in. Drop them in. Oh, that's too light. Drop them in. There. Stream elements. Said. Through July 31st, Twitch yeah. Interactions raise money for Extra Life. So tree, so. Find out more https colon slash slash www.extra-life.org slash it. The color of nothing. Bob, stop. You leave me behind, Bob. <laughs> this is the exact right kind of chaos I was looking for. <laughs> Oh, Lord. So, I don't know. I uh, This is going to be really funny looking at uh, <laughs> looking at what uh, actually was painted and what I painted. So, I forgot to add these guys to... Uh, said. I love how you truly captured the color of nothing. Okay. A few little things that happen and play. Oh my god, I'm Madam so Madam underscore off. Claire underscore back. sentient. Same said, dirty brush. So Same I don't dirty suppose brush. you would you know anyone who of... could supply me a copy of oh, Thirsty Sword Hello. Lesbians. Put some sap green Asking into it. for about green. four friends. Worker. Just brush mix these colors. Put them all together on the brush. Get this book not... here. And maybe, maybe, maybe right here. There's a little bit of light playing through there. And 
Just striking this tree. And all I'm doing is touching, tapping. There, that's all you need. Try a little Indian yellow. That's a beautiful color. come right across these trunks, because you don't see the entire trunk. There's leaves on this side. Don't forget that. You don't always see the entire trunk. There's a little sap green at it. And all this is done without ever washing your brush. It's just the same old dirty brush. We can add a little bit of paint thinner. That'll make it stick a little easier. You're not adding any more paint thinner, brush. Bob. <laughs> and we'll go to this big old tree here. This one goes right off the canvas. Now, when you're touching these, always pull them toward the, toward the limb. This is truly really an impressionist masterpiece. They all, they all come from that. <laughs> so always go back to that. Madam underscore player underscore sentient toward that, said, toward the trunk it's actually the kind of impressive in a a bar walked into an absurdist okay. and the world <laughs> exploded <laughs> kind of way. I know, right? You like, too. I'm not mad about you it. Just it's just like, I was gonna get him. it's like, this I'm is, this is not what Bob Ross is indicating. <laughs> Or maybe go right in here, wherever you want them. Just drop them in. See how easy these are? Really nothing to them. Nothing to them. Here, there's one right there. Let it sparkle in the sun. Uh, <laughs> this tree is drunk. It comes down so it gets darker and darker automatically. That way you don't even have to think about it. It just happens. Let's go to the other side over here. Maybe. Maybe back in here. Barely touching the canvas. Barely, barely touching the canvas. Okay, maybe. There he is. There he is. I knew he was there. Okay, yes. Madam underscore Claire right underscore right sentient there. said. Some people just want to see the world see, burn. You don't have to spend Others, a lot of time like you, this accidentally and ignite the motherfucking it. sky. You're trying to stay in the lines. <laughs> Food. You make your own world. And make it while you paint. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, this is, this is, uh... <laughs> this is an experience, <laughs> for sure. Mm, a little more of the yellow. Maybe we'll just put a little bright one right there that just stands out. And see, so you overlap these, you layer them. That's what creates the illusion of distance, is all these different layers. That's what makes them pretty. Let's take a clean brush now, and I'm going to gently tap them right in here. Let that magic white work through. Madam underscore Claire and underscore nice sentient misty area. said, Don't traumatize me with visions of 2022. Very light. Very light. <laughs> Okay. I've, I've gone off the rails completely. This quick point, little we're background. just doing what we can to survive. <laughs> quick little background. Maybe we want to add, maybe there's a, right here, maybe there's a little tree that he doesn't have any leaves left on him. Maybe, maybe, maybe he didn't make it through last winter. You know, every year there's some, there's some trees that doesn't make it, and they're part of nature. Don't, don't avoid dead trees in your paintings. They're beautiful, and you see them in nature. So put them in your paintings. They make them look realistic, and they're a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, We need to build a wall, but don't want. worry. Most five-year-olds yeah. struggle to color inside the lines. All day just putting in all these beautiful <laughs> little limbs. Thanks, I guess. And that should be enough. Give you an idea how they're, how they're made, and you can have fun with them. So, let's go in here. I'm going to take a little bit of the yellow and the green. All the different colors of yellow and sap green, they're all just mixed on the brush right here. Just tapping, see? See there? Just tap. Okay, let's go up to the canvas. And you've got to figure out where the land is here. And the lay of the land is very important when you're doing this. So follow those angles. Decide where your land's at. And then the angles, they're very, very important. 
can't stress that enough. Madam underscore Claire underscore Don't sentient said, dark. You put the said dark in here so this I think they can you see your cry for help from Mars. Just like life, you have to. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient so you know when you have said, time. Don't worry, you they walk among you us. Would, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. But you have some sad times in your life. And then when you have a happy time, then you know you're having a happy time. Oh my god, this is chaos. This is chaos. <laughs> See how soft and gentle that is. And there's days when you, you don't want to be soft and gentle. You want to do strong, almighty paintings. And then there's days when you're in a mood to do very soft, quiet little paintings. So we try to show you all no, the different oh no. ways. And you have to make the decision. We're exploding off the canvas. Here. I want to start building some, <laughs> some reflections in here. Got to make some decisions. Maybe the water goes right on around, like so. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient blue said, I don't see right see what it's harm just it would do at this point to just play <coughs> darts crimson. with the oh, roller. A little more into the lavender hue. That's better. That's better. See? You don't like it? You change it. It's your world. I mean, to be fair, straight down. it's kind of cool most, and like a postmodernist. Uh, I'm high on LSD way. Straight down. As you said earlier, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Now, very lightly, just brush across. <laughs> Instant water. Isn't that fantastic? Now, maybe. Madam underscore Claire underscore Sentia said, maybe post apocalyptic. Right here. Here's a little bit of titanium white, and maybe there's some white color. Shoot, wherever you want, drop it in. Satanzan said, go for those go happy back. little reflections. Again. Pick up a little bit of that. Fair enough, let's down. do it. You can do this till you get I'm going to break this up since it's not so terrifying. Clouds and Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient across. said, you left and yourself easy. open that to easy. that one. I did, I did indeed. Now you have a little light area out here. Okay. Add a little bit of paint thinner onto my brush so the paint will stick a little easier. And we can come back and begin filling in some of this. Got to make decisions. Where does this go? There it is. That's where it goes. Wherever you want it to go. Wherever. wherever. All right, so I, I did this earlier. I figured out how to do this kind of thing earlier. A little green in it. And I'm just so it's a little different because I don't know what kind of paint this is supposed to be. Just let them have fun. Yellow ochre. Once in a while, a small amount of permanent red. Permanent red is very strong, so be careful with it. Okay, let's take a fan brush now. Fan brush, and I'll go into a little bit of Van Dyke brown, a little burn umber, and I'll just mix them on the brush here. Just a little. Okay, let's go right up here. And let's just go Madam ahead. underscore Claire and underscore sentient. Said, back in here if you're we'll wondering what we're up to today, yeah. Satanzan, the sky is on fire, Still that is all. Go right up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Wherever. Have fun. Let it happen. There it is. Just let it happen. Oh, I'm trying to let it, ha let it be fun, let it happen, but I'm also kind of worried that I'm predicting let the end of the world. Go. Okay, I'm going to take a small amount of yellow ochre with white on it, yellow ochre and a little bit of white. We'll put a little, a little bit of highlight here and there. Just a little highlight. And just let this See, this isn't so bad, back. guys. See, I'm, I'm not, not doing terrible. Now, don't kill all the dark. Don't kill it all. Leave a little dark showing here and there. Satanzan so, said, here. at least I got to see this coming yeah, into creation cool. greater than. some more big decisions. I'm adding a little bit of titanium white to my brush. Just a little white. Maybe there's a, some sunlight that plays right there. Right there. So add a little white. Oh my god. Makes that area stand <laughs> out like it's light hitting. Maybe it comes <laughs> down across and hits it's on the other the side. Madam color. underscore Claire underscore sentient so that said, it stands out. 
were trying to fix it with a metric buckload, approximately 3.24 imperial shit tons of birthing trauma blue. Yellows. I want it to get darker because I'm going to do ooh, this. There we go. I hit the end of my leash. There we go. Messed it up now. Messed it up now. See? Just make a decision. Let it happen. God, I thought the painting Let deleted. It <laughs> this can be bad. Come right across. Okay. Darker, 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 darker. See? You just cover up what you don't want. And you make your little pond whatever shape you want it. Madam underscore Claire you underscore sentient said, even Bob fucking Ross just yeah. said you messed it up. Now, yeah, we can put a little highlight here. Uh, yeah, I'm just <laughs> yeah we're, we're in nightmare mode now. And a little bit of paint thinner. That'll make it stick a little easier. There, see there? How easy it sticks. But you need that firm paint underneath or you can't do that. You, became, you become a mud mixer. In a heartbeat. Thanks, Bob. Just, oh, just, just by smoke. touching and tapping here, how oh very soft and quiet you can make. See, there we go. All right, maybe, tell you what, let's play. Maybe, say no dirty brush. Maybe there's a nice bush that lives right here. That'll put a little more depth into the Madam paint. underscore Claire underscore sentient said, Well, where Which there's we'll fire. And then we'll go back. Fair. Just using the same old dirty brush. <laughs> Pick up a little bit of the light color and highlight it. You need the down. dark underneath. And you come back and highlight it. Tell you what, just add a little Indian yellow to that. So it stands out against that. And just let it go. Wherever it's much better uh, for a whiskey or something. Okay. Hmm, Let's have some fun today. Tell you what let's do, let's take, let's build a huge tree here. Uh, get a lot of letters saying I'm having trouble with trees, so I wanna show you how to make one, a big one. Let's take some Van Dyke Brown and pull this Madam paint out very flat. Claire underscore take sentient. a knife, cut Said. across, so there's Don't a little be bit of too ashamed. Right the Bob's of tree there. looks like it's on little fire little up close. Let's go to the canvas. Decide where you're gonna have this big, huge tree. He lives there, you say, all right. Then that's just where he goes. And just touch the canvas. Touch the canvas. Touch, pull. Just like so. Maybe it goes all the way off the canvas. All the way off. And then you have to determine how thick he is. Is he thick with two C's, Bob? Canvas, pull, pull, pull. Now, it'd really be better to pull from the opposite direction, but if I do that, are you... You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, so I'll just do it this way and leave this side sort of ragged. But when you're doing it at home, turn the knife that way and pull it. That'll make that edge nice and smooth. Okay, maybe, tell you what, let's do. Let's make it even bigger. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe there's another arm. There it goes. There it goes. Right on off the canvas your tree, so you give him as many arms as you want. Okay, see. See, touch, put it that way. I should be able to see it over here now. Touch. There we go. Okay, now let's, let's put some, some arms here and there, limbs. See, I call them arms because trees are my friends. I go up Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient. Said, you got to make hey, cruel God, I think there's a little world in your primordial ooze. Let me help you with that. Enjoy. Sincerely, Leviathan. Okay, maybe I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what there's a, I'll bet you there it is. I knew there was one there. There's right there. See, it's one of the things when I was a young boy, my mother spent a lot of time teaching me to appreciate nature and the beautiful things that God had given us. Which this is and not I'll one. Always over for that. So that's why I like to paint the type of paintings that you would enjoy. Do anything from a lady. 
All right. Now you can put as many, many limbs out here as you want. Let them go. Let them have fun. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient spend, said, spend Careful, you put out. the fire out. Maybe I'm trying to. But it helps to give you painting a lot of character. It makes it beautiful. A little roll of paint on the knife. That's all that you use. That's what creates all these effects. Okay, that gives you a good idea. Now you can take, you take your liner brush and put all kind of detail in there. But let's, there it is. Take some permanent red and some brown and you know, mix it together. Really, for the fact that and I'm not a painter, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, still get except that the fire. Paint. Let's go up here to the canvas and put a little highlight. And all we're doing here is just touching the canvas. Madam so underscore Claire the underscore so sentient back, what's left. said, Okay, maybe, but that it. would make That's sense, and I right. thought this was meant to be all chaos. To was I mistaken? Ah, uh, yeah, it was meant to be chaos. Yes. You're right. It's chaos, dude. I'm, I'm not so. even pretending. There we go. <laughs> Just right on up. Wherever you think light would strike. I kind of like it, though. There's a little bit of white to it there, so... Maybe <laughs> it is chaos, right but there, it's like good right kind of chaos, down. you know? Oh, come back. Bring it right there. Right there. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, If I cross a line, let me know, just so I know when I'm going in the right direction. Now on the other side here, let's take a little bit of the, the nah, blue. You're good. You're good. This is, smallest, smallest amount this of is supposed to be funny and like a break Very from good. our normal, like so. normal stuff. And let's go up here and let's put a little, little blue over on this side. Very here. impressionist. Here's the indication of reflected light. It's very, very pretty, very effective, and it helps give that tree limb depth. Okay, let's go right in here. There we go, a little bit. Doom, 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 doom. Right on up the side. Right up the side. And I really hope my arm is not in the way there. A little bit right over here. Okay, I want to take the liner brush, and just in case you just haven't seen me do this before, take a little bit of paint thinner and go right into some Van Dyke brown, turn that brush, bring it to a nice sharp point. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, I don't think I've laughed quite so much at your expense in the past. It was a good move. Yeah, this is, this is what they would call content. Sometimes don't have them just coming out the side. Look like somebody took a big razor blade and cut your tree in two, and half of it fell on the floor. I've been laughing this whole time, like I don't know if you guys have as many guys as you want. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, Even if you're shit, you have certainly mastered the art of comedy. Right down here. Let's cover up this little bit with some grass. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take up some of that dark color and pull it out so it makes it look like a shadow. There we go. Okay. And I think we're to the point. Let's sign this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take a little paint thinner, a little permanent red. And we'll go right in here. Oh, we're going to sign it? Okay. And as I say, I hope you've enjoyed this. It showed you some new things. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, from all of us here, happy painting. God bless. <laughs> Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said the signature is my least favorite part it's almost competent I can't thumbs up in this game, damn it. Ah! Where am I? It's beauty. I can definitely NFT this thing, right? Definitely could NFT this thing. <laughs> yeah.
Oh my god. This is one of my favorite things I've done on stream. Excellent. <laughs> so this painting VR, I love it. Um it's it's oh my god, this is a disaster. <laughs> is it though? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so I took a picture beforehand and I want to got I want you guys to compare it. Alright. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, Not for Twitch, Nosfortis' favorite thought. Stop talking in Kobe, I'm old and crochety and can't keep up. What? Yeah, that's, that's what we're supposed to paint. Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, NFT. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's hysterical. <laughs> All right. Well, we tried. We definitely tried. <laughs> Madam underscore Claire underscore sentient said, I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means we tried, man. We, uh, we tried and yikes. <laughs> oh my God. I'm trying to get my camera pulled over here so we can, we can have a chat. Satan that. said, trying is winning. Trying Madam is underscore winning. Claire underscore sentient said, nice fail though. Oh my God. I cannot wait to cut this and put it on YouTube. <laughs> Oh my god. What a what a goofy goofy morning. <laughs> Madam underscore Claire oh underscore sentient said I'm comedy fucking girl. You are. You really are. Oh where's my where's my camera? Face cam. Visible. Hello. Oh, you guys are way up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Don't look at my background. Don't look at my background. Oh my god. <laughs> Yikes. I do need a shower after that. I, uh, I'm so hot and bothered by my own uh, stuff. <laughs> oh my god. I had a good time with that, though, you know? Like, that was, that was a different kind of fun. Um, let me do this. You guys can't, can't quite see everything horribly. Um... <laughs> it's not safe for work because of the crimes I committed against art. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> now I gotta figure out how to get that picture off of the VR headset since I've taken a picture of it and put it onto uh onto my main computer so I can like Hey guys, here's me doing art and make a TikTok out of it or something. <laughs> What what did you think, Satan? So I I gotta tell you, I love this thing. Like I am I'm laughing and I'm kind of uh, I I'm like <laughs> so I'm I'm not artistically competent. And the fact is is that even if that wasn't the most competent painting in the world, it's so much fun to get in there and just 
play, right? Like, I mean, we could talk like, oh, you got to be artistic to use art stuff. It's like, well, no, it's, it's the fun of this is the fact that I can just get in there and uh, throw stuff up there and just have fun with it. And so um, my therapist has been ask, asking me to practice mindfulness, uh, which is very hard for me because I'm very much a get going, let's do things, let's do things, let's do things, let's do things. Since I downloaded it on Thursday, I've been spending about 30 minutes to an hour every day listening to music and basically doing what I was asked, which was meditating. And that's something that I've absolutely loved about this is that it is a very focused space. So like looking at some of this other stuff out there, like, um, so I, I've tried out Brushworks. I've tried out um, a couple of the other, uh, a couple of the other art things out there. And the thing that I like the most um, about it is the fact that it is such a focused space, right? So instead of being um, like, uh, I'm trying to think if there's an actual dedicated or an oil painting one, and it has its own music, and it's it's it was kind of hard to fiddle with, find the setting to turn off the music. Well, with with painting VR, that since there is only the sound of the brush, which I by the way is ASMR heaven, when I actually have like my my VR earphones in, um, it, it it's so relaxing because that sound is just so good, um, and then I can pop my headphones on, play my own music. Um, I don't have my un my wa my wireless headset right now, which would be even better. But the but that and combined with the actual physicality, like I didn't realize painting something that large um, is such a physical act. And so, like every time, even doing just that little section of the canvas, um, getting up and around and painting. So I showed at the very beginning of the stream, which I think was off. Um, I showed. Uh, something that I've been working on, which is like a sunset with stars that I made with splatter brush and stuff. And I probably should crack back open and show you guys that because I'm I'm not I'm kind of proud of it. Um, I am getting I am hyped. Well, I've, I've been messaging back and forth with them in their Twitter for for a couple days. So, um, but the uh, just that act of physically moving up and down and painting and going around, I didn't realize it. And that's so that and the fact that it provides a meditative space and I can pop on some lo-fi, hear the brush. Um, I hear the brush, hear the music with it, and then just kind of take some quiet time to myself. That's been so wonderful, and I've absolutely loved it. Um, so I don't know. I, I love it. I love it. Um, things I wish, wish for in this. Um, oh, I'm, you're another one. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, I probably am going to pop back in and, and do some more playing around, uh, just because like it's fun. Um, so. When the, when the brushes extend, um, it's one of the reasons I did the small section rather than a big one, um, they get really floppy. They do this a lot. And I found that kind of hard um, to keep going well. Oh, my chat box is annoying me. Yeah, and, I, and I'm not sure if that's intentional or not. Um, I don't know. I kind of hope it isn't. Um, But at the same time, like I kind of like it because it led to some creative moments, right? Like that's sort of the that's sort of the, the thing. Anything artistic is like as as a programmer. Like when I work on my stuff, and my stuff isn't terribly creative. Um, took a bit of that out. Ah, um, you know, it, it's hard because if you're doing something that in, encapsulates creativity, how much do you, how much weirdness do you leave in to kind of inspire those creative moments, right? Um, so I don't know. I, I like it's something that got on my nerves, but I liked it um, in the end because it just made me go like, oh wait, I can be creative off of this weirdness that whipped around. Um, yeah, it is. It is. It's such a hard question to answer because, like I said, it's it's how much do you pull out? How much do you leave in? Um, It's a lot. It's a lot to figure out. Um, uh, other things. Um, I couldn't figure out how to import new references. So that that would have been nice um, to see some tutorial or some button to do it. Because right now the screen on the bottom is just a minus sign. It doesn't do anything. But um, 
I feel like that's something like if I had gone over to the Discord, someone would have answered for me. <laughs> uh, I'm dying without music right now. Uh, yeah. And I mean, I mean, it would be nice because, like, what I really wanted was a reference picture. Because <laughs> with the, the color grabbing, it's like, one of the best things in it. You need to connect to the PC going to the folders. Ah, that'll do it. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured is like something like that. Um, because I really wanted a painting, a picture of the painting. And let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Oops. Oops. Uh, where's my stream deck? There it is. Was it? Why am, I, why am I not smart? I closed it. Um, there you go. There you are. Uh, I found this, and this made me so happy to find a, a, a Bob Ross. Um, thing. Okay, so I won't really... Like I said, I'm probably probably over talking it, but uh, I really wish I could have had this in there. Um, and I know that's hard on Quest because Quest like does not multitask whatsoever. Um, but it would have been nice to have this so I could grab you really just use the the color grab to just pull the correct colors out. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's that's me. That's that's the stuff I love. But there's so much to love about it, because, I mean, again, it's meditative, it's wonderful. I wish I could paint the walls of the studio. That is possible. Okay, yeah, I just gotta... Like I said, if I'd gone to the Discord and taken two seconds to ask, someone would have told me, Hey, go here, you connect it, you do this, there you go. Um, <laughs> but, hey, I didn't. But, uh, yeah, so I would love that. If you guys ever do get that easy, that'd be so great. Um... Or the importing the references, that'd be so great, because I, I honestly, like I said, I've had so much fun just um, hanging out and just playing with it. Um, so, I, I don't know, uh, Sutton, how many, or Sutton, um, how many of you guys at, at the studio are, are artists? Like, is there a lot of you guys that are artists, a few of you? That's what I thought. But Wim's a musician. <laughs> and a movie director. Ooh, nice. What a uh, what a wonderfully diverse set of talents. I'm a little jealous. I'm just a project manager. The guy kinda with a uh I <laughs> I'm a guy with a platform, what can I say? all-around artist, coder, animator, rigger. Man, rigging is no joke, dude. Rigging is no joke. You got a lot of talent. A lot of talent there. Awesome. I, I was just curious. Um, so I, I do a lot of stuff with harmonics, and so, like, it's always your cupboard. <laughs> I do a lot of stuff with harmonics, and they have a lot of very different... Uh, the wide range of skills, so I, that's why I ask. Is because I'm like, this is, they're all musicians, and then they all have different little things they do. So, I'm also not a musician, uh, oddly enough. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Yeah, I know. So I um, my like art. Um, I'm uh, I'm a writer by trade. So by trade degree, I guess. <laughs> And uh, so that, that's that's my my art I can do is, is write, read, and 
uh, break stories down and stuff, so that's what I do. Right on a very big canvas now. Yeah, that's what we were, we were talking about. Was the uh, um, when I signed it at the end, the uh, uh, the the writing was so absurdly legible. <laughs> Sounds like such a weird thing to say, but I can't write very well in English. Um, I'm beautiful Arabic handwriting, but uh, in in English, not so much. So, uh. Um, I am going to go ahead and wrap up, um, Sutton, uh, thank you for stopping by, um, I'm getting pinged for work, uh, they need me in early, which I'm kind of mad about, because I, uh, <laughs> uh, I was having fun, but they need me into a meeting, um, which kills my stream time, so, thank you again so much, um, I love this game, I'm going to kind of add it in when we do, I do random stuff on Sundays when I'm feeling chill, um, I think this is just going to become a regular thing is me doing Bob Ross once or twice a month. <laughs> yeah, you too. And guys, keep working on it. I'm so excited to see where this thing goes because it, it's so wonderful and I've really enjoyed it and loved it uh, just in like the week I've had it. Um, so, you know, thank you guys again. Uh, you'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday. Um, I have Crowfall listed, but I think it's going to end up being um, if the thing I'm keep waiting on is Pokemon Unite. Uh, but uh, yeah, depending on what comes up, we'll see it. So, anyway, thank you guys. Have a great one, and I will.